Hey, what's up folks? In this video, we're taking a look at the new Adafruit Feather ESP32 V2. This is a big upgrade over the original. The V2 has eight megabytes of flash, that's twice as much storage. It also has two megabytes of PS RAM, a mini NeoPixel, Stemma QT, and a USB-C port. It's designed for low power usage, so you can use a light poly battery in deep sleep. It features the ESP32 Pico module, so you get extra space for pin labels and mounting holes. With Stemma QT, you can just plug in your favorite sensor breakouts and start plotting data. It's a great way to quickly get your IoT projects up and running. You can use it with Arduino IDE just like other ESP32 boards. With the extra flash and RAM, even big and complex projects are a breeze. With Whippersnapper, you can easily make IoT projects without having to write any code. Just install the firmware with a Chrome-based browser, and now your Feather will appear automatically in Adafruit I.O. ESP32 v2 also has micro Python support, so you can write Python code and libraries to create your IoT projects. Follow along with the Adafruit Learn Guide to install and set up your Feather ESP32 v2. So what type of IoT projects would you make? You can let us know on Discord and share your projects on Adafruit Show & Tell. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos from Adafruit.